everyone, Jason here, digital marketing consultant, and in this consulting tutorial, you're going to learn the three best ways to get started with your consulting business or practice, as well as some different pricing structures to make sure that you're never burning the midnight oil for free and combating scope creep. So go ahead and make sure you check out the links in the description to a timestamp table of contents to jump around this video, as well as some other helpful playlists and videos to growing and marketing your consulting practice. Now, before we dive into these three different ways to make money as an online consultant, let's go through three keys to success that's going to help you set a solid foundation so that your consulting business starts off on the right foot. And the first key to success is super self-explanatory, but you actually do already have to have skills and experience. Being a consultant is not for someone who's just getting started in whatever field they wanna be a consultant in. I know that might seem self-explanatory, but I have seen a lot of, especially in the digital agency space, people who've only had one or two clients and then want to just strike out on their own and use their clients as guinea pigs, right? When someone hands you cash, you should already know exactly how to deliver the result that you've promised, which is actually key to success number two, and that is remembering that as a consultant, it's not about hourly rate, it's not about, not about monthly income or how big your packages are, it's all about results. So for example, as a digital marketing agency, our clients pay us X amount of dollars and they expect X amount of clients in return. If you're doing anything creative, your clients expect a certain number of web pages, a certain number of designs, a certain number of revisions, whatever you're doing, there's an expectation of results and amount of work that's going to be done. You want to make sure that it's crystal clear when you start with a new client exactly what they're getting for their money. It helps make sure that expectations are in line and then that way you don't deliver something, you think you're super happy with it. You're like, man, this client is really gonna be happy and then they come back and go, well, why wasn't this done? Why wasn't that done? Why'd you do it this way? And then you just, you look at it, you go, oh my gosh, why are you nitpicking me? I, I just gave you this awesome thing at this great price price. So that's just helps you make sure that what you think the client wants and what the client actually wants are in line and getting it in writing or at least in an email is an excellent way to go. Now the third key to success before we dive into those three ways to make money as a consultant when you're just getting started is focus. And that is you must focus on two to three skills or services absolute max. Something that is really hard for new consultants to wrap their headers around is when you're delivering the client work, that should be the easiest part of running your entire business. The marketing, the advertising, the sales, that's where you're pulling your hair out, trying to figure out where am I gonna get clients or how do I keep clients on longer? How do I streamline my customer service? Those are all the things that should be keeping you up at night and driving you crazy. When it comes to actually delivering the product or service, that should be the easiest part. You should sit down at your computer or sit down at your notepad and just breeze through it. It should be the easiest part. So to do that, you need to focus on two to three skills that you're going to really hone in on and master because a jack of all trades is not something you wanna be as a consultant long term, especially when you're just getting started. So let's go ahead and dive into those three different ways. Speaking of jack of all trades, if you have no idea what those two to three services should be, then you should start at an hourly rate. And these are all going to build on each other. Now, I know what you might be thinking, hourly rate, the whole point of starting my own business is so that I don't have to punch in and punch out, right? I don't want to be a freelancer on Upwork or I don't want to be scrutinized for spending five extra minutes on something, right? I get it. I've been there. My first consulting client, I was at $7 an hour and boy, was it not fun at all. However, I learned a lot just like you're going to learn a lot and you're going to learn a couple of key things. Number one, you're going to learn how to communicate with clients because just because you know how to do the work doesn't mean you know how to manage the client relationship, making sure they're happy, making sure that you check in with them enough so that they stay past just one project. The second thing is understanding how much more work it is when you're managing multiple projects and multiple clients. So an hourly rate is just a very safe way to get started with your consulting and make sure that you understand how to communicate with clients, how to interact with clients. You'll figure out how long that communication takes because that could be a huge drain and it also helps you stay away from scope creep. So when you're at an hourly rate and they ask for more, it's okay, you're going to be paid for everything that you're doing 
because you're being paid hourly. And then once you get the hang of it, you're ready for a monthly rate. And so this can be a retainer or some sort of monthly service where you're providing a result on a month over month basis. And this is the best place to kind of get into a nice stride with your consulting business. This should be your initial goal. So after you have a couple clients, you're really going to want to wrap your head around, how do I turn these one-off projects into something that's reoccurring? So for example, with a web developer, you build this beautiful, awesome site. Well, guess what? The client probably doesn't know WordPress. They don't know HTML. They don't know what FTP is, right? They need someone to help them when their site crashes, when they want to add a new web page. And so creating a monthly maintenance plan is a great way to have a great project in the beginning and then offer a service that brings in money month over month. For example, with our digital marketing agency, we run advertising for clients, right? So it's pretty simple. There's a setup fee and then they pay us each month to keep running the ads for them to bring them in new clients and customers. Something you can do if either one of those examples doesn't really help you figure out how to turn your specific skill into a monthly revenue service, then you can always go the retainer route. And this is something that I recommend as a last resort. This is something I did in the beginning of our digital agency where your clients have questions and you are the expert, right? So instead Instead of consistently giving your time away for free, answering their emails, taking their phone calls, set up a monthly retainer where they have access to you for a monthly fee. For example, when we first started our agency, it was two to $300 just for someone to have access to a specific email where I'd always respond to their questions within 24 hours. And then they got an hour or two of my time to review their landing pages or to go through their sales copy or write something for them. And of course it was at a discounted rate because they're paying every month. It'll be up to you whether or not that time carries over. And then the final, the big overarching goal of every consultant is creating a package. And packages are one of the most misunderstood services that consultants can offer. And this is really your giant big end goal because what packages allow you to do is they allow you to be a full service, like a five-star hotel, the person walks in and you take care of 99.9% .9 of everything for the client and you walk them from I don't know what the heck I'm doing to, oh my gosh, I have this great end product or this great end machine. So the best way to show you this is to go through an example. So I'm gonna read off my screen here really quick. So a service, like a three-star hotel would be, we set up YouTube ad accounts and manage them monthly to get you customers. Eh, well, okay, that, that's cool, like that that makes sense. That, that uh, sounds like it's gonna help my business, great. Or we could do a package and we say, we have a six month video marketing program where we build you an optimized brand and advertising machine to grow your brand and drive sales. And of course, I'm using some buzzwords in here like program, machine, system, optimize. And so you can get fancy, fancier with your, your copywriting as you go through whatever you're building. But the main difference here is in the first one, it's kind of like a three heart star hotel or what you're doing on a month to month basis. Yeah, we set this up for you and then we'll manage it. And we'll kind of optimize it and you'll get this cool result. Whereas with a package, what you're doing is you're taking a step back and you're saying, okay, they don't just want videos. They don't just want YouTube advertising. They want to grow their brand and grow their business. So whatever the big overarching goals are for your client, you look at those and then you say, okay, what is something that I could put together where someone who's brand new or wants everything done for them, what would that look like? And what would be the big overarching results? In this particular example, a six month package, especially if you add the number of months that are on, it tells the client like, wow, this person is gonna be doing a lot of work. So it's just implied and you can charge a much higher price, more than triple in this particular example. So I hope you found those three keys to success helpful to figuring out how to get started with consulting and that these three different ways of making money online give you some ideas on how to structure your own services. There's definitely no hard and fast rules when it comes to which place to start. If you already have an awesome idea for a package, great start there and see how it goes. It's just always easier to start at the hourly rate because you're still learning the marketing, the advertising, and the sales, which is what's always going to be the part of your business that's going to suck up the most amount of your time as a consultant. So go ahead and hit that like button and subscribe if you got some value out of this video. Make sure you check out the links in the description to help you with your marketing, advertising, and of course, sales. And until the next video, keep building the business you love.